Oh hi. Um, let's start with the exercise as usual. Okay, so <clears throat> the other day we I did the uh, 100 push-ups, very light push-ups. Now today I'm gonna do 100 light sit-ups. Okay, like crunches. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, oh, endurance, okay, so. All right, we'll take a break and we will be back. Mm. Ah. Something just poked me. That must be some kind of tree. Tree, uh, whatever. Yeah.
Okay, we're back. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, what? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, we got a lot to talk about today, okay? So it's gonna be a busy day, um, so I'll probably talk a little bit fast, okay? And, uh, Because it's gonna be rather busy day, okay? Alright. Ah, whatever. Okay. And, um, before we start, let's chat a little, okay? <coughs> Um, let me grab my drinks. So, I'm going to qualify the Bacchusism, Dionysocianism a little bit, okay? Because, um, <clears throat> we hear about a lot of this, uh, in the news, you know, crime TV documentary, like domestic violence related to alcohol. And yes, yes, um, because what happens when you drink is this, okay? Um, when you drink, it kind of feels good. It kind of relaxes you, but later on, while, while you are drunk, it gives you some degree of this pain, okay? So it's, it's the pluminosism kind of thing, okay? It, after you're drunk, you kind of feel in your body very, very like this hot, thirsty. It doesn't feel good, okay? So, and if you are not disciplined person, so you will pour out, vent out that neg negative copium to other people, okay? And sometimes some people, that's why they become abusive or violent when they're drunk, okay? Perhaps me too. Maybe I become very verbally abusive when I'm drunk, okay? Oh, well. <coughs> but um, some people become physically violent. And that's then such person should not drink. Okay. Um, how about me being verbally abusive? Well, it has some purpose. Okay. It has purpose of uh, disciplining you, the audience. Okay. It's because, uh, yeah, I make constructive criticism. Okay. So it's, it's disciplinary process. Okay, so am I justifying myself? Maybe. But you, is there some verity in there? I think so. That's why I'm telling you all this. Okay. You know, there's this bull spot that's really annoying me. Um, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, like violent person, people who cannot control their anger, their emotion, they shouldn't be drinking. Okay, so. Because you don't want to go to jail, do you? Okay. And you don't want to hurt other people or yourself, so... Another thing. Let's talk about another thing. <clears throat> A physically violent person, physically abusive person, he has this devil in them, violencism, and it tends to spread to other people. Let's say there is this guy 
who has de devil in him, devil of violenceism, he tried to mess with me, right? Then what do I become? I become violent too. So that's the devil replicating itself, like just like virus, viruses or bacteria. Let's say this person has cold virus, and I talk to, listen to him, talk to him in a close range, then I will get his cold virus, and I will get sick too, right? Same thing. <clears throat> there is this guy with metaphysical pathogen, the violenceism, violenceism. And he tried to mess with me, right? And then I get angry, and then I get violent too. So he and I start fighting. That's the devil replicating itself, and one of the devil's replica, violence-ism, number two, coming and possessing me. Okay, so violence-ism spread just like that. Okay? Enough. We, we, we got too much going on here. Um, we, we are in the realm of musicology, and also we'll do some linguistics too. Okay, in terms of permutation, algebra. Okay, so my voice is getting a little bit better, little by little, but it's still bad. Oh well, what can I do? The show must go on. So, <coughs> trust me, man. I don't. I don't like my voice being like raspy like this. I hate it, but. It, it's getting better, very slowly, so. Yeah, I'll recover, okay. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, and I will try not to be verbally abusive, okay, so. It's an art, okay, uh, verbal abuse, yeah, it's an art. I'm not doing it to some people. Well, you are people too, but you are not here with me physically so you can always turn it off this video so you are not a not a captive audience you're not a captive audience you don't have to listen to me okay so that's why it's okay all right so permutation function okay so we we talked about a while ago p okay you take in what some algebraic function like x plus square root of x, x1 plus square root of x2 plus cubic root of x3, right? Comma, and then you have permion, like uh, say uh, 2, 3, 1, right? And permutation function takes two input, one algebraic function and one permion, right? <coughs> and then um, it becomes what? Well, downstairs. Because you, we can also permute upstairs to the radical, but we are doing downstairs here, okay? Alright, 1 becomes 2, 2 becomes 3, 3 becomes 1. Of course, in this particular instance, okay? If we uh, apply, let's say, delta, okay, delta, you know, subscript, downstairs, right? And we also apply upstairs too, delta, delta, okay? If, if we have done that, then it will be like this. Because this is a square root of 1, I mean, the root 1, root square root of 2, cubic root of 3, okay? so. If we do have had done that, then it will be like uh, two square root of two plus cubic root of three uh, plus uh, just first root of um, x one. Okay, so this is identical to input function. Okay, in this particular case. Okay. Now. Uh, here you have function of three variables, okay, as an input, okay. Can you can you see that? It's just permian two three one delta downstairs delta upstairs meaning you change subscripts and you change something upstairs like 
radical okay number number okay now uh, yeah in this instance uh, you have function of three variable multivariate so function okay but it doesn't have to be it could be function of zero variables okay what is it yeah constant function okay so let's say P old pen I'm sorry P okay oh this is nice let's say you have some number constant function like y is equal to what two two one three two okay so y equal to two two one thirty two twenty two thousand hundred and thirty two okay and then you apply permutation like two three one okay then yeah <clears throat> you can do that two becomes three okay three three and one becomes two three becomes one and two becomes three okay yeah you can apply uh, this permion permutation function into a constant function too a constant okay now a music a song or concert music or piano sonata whatever okay it's we, we said it's um, either uh, two-dimensional matrix like three by n three rows and n columns number of notes okay and breaks in between okay counting as a note like zero is also a note silence is a note okay I mean it's loudness the loudness of sound should be zero but the frequency of sound yeah it could be probably what zero I guess <coughs> length yeah length can vary right sound of silence length of silence but uh, <coughs> yeah a song can be if it's just one a cappella singer or one solo guitarist or one pianist actually even if it's one pianist okay there are musical instruments that can play two notes or multiple notes at the same time like pipe organ piano or guitar you can have strong you can play a chord with three notes or more at the same time right then yeah even if it's a solo guitarist uh, it has to be a three-dimensional matrix third or the tensor okay but if just one person singing without clapping without dancing it's just pure singing voice one person or it's, if it's a recorder a flute because some of the musical instruments can play only one note at a time like like uh, saxophone trumpet or flute any wind instrument okay you can play one note at a time okay and our voice is kind of like wind instrument because it's air flowing out piano is hammering right cembalo harpsichord is a plucking harp plucking okay those hammering or plucking um guitar yeah plucking string instrument or, or yeah those string instruments can play multiple notes at the same time how about violin or cello probably not right i mean if they pluck many times they do pluck because violin viola uh what that uh, cello contrabass whatever right yeah they sometimes plug multiple strings at the same time then yeah they can play multiple notes at the same time but in terms of this bow action i think they i think they can bow <coughs> like two strings at the same time i think okay then yeah but mostly most there's the kind of in the middle between this multi-note instruments or single note instruments 
Okay, so yeah, those bow operated string instrument the kind of in the middle. Okay, so okay. How about drums? Yeah, drums. Uh, you can hit drums and cymbals, small drum, big drum with your feet. Yeah, two hands. You can do multiple sounds at the same time. So yeah, that's more like a. Uh, is plucking string instruments, okay, like, yeah, piano, you know, plucking or hammering, okay, so, okay, now, <clears throat> so a song is like three, three dimensional matrix, right, and, um, you to understand this, um, you have a piano, guitar, right? You have, you have one. But before we go there, uh, I have to explain you one more thing as a preliminary, okay? We will talk about permut we will talk about permutation in music. Okay. Permutation in music. Like you switch out the singers or switch out piano and violin. Yeah. You swap. The musical shit, okay? Shit music. We're gonna talk about that after we do some preliminary stuff, okay? So <coughs> it's math mathematical musicology, okay? Very beautiful field. Probably very underdeveloped field. So we are doing it, okay? So okay. And later on, we'll do linguistics, mathematical linguistics, okay, or permutation linguistics. Right now, we are about to do like permutation musicology, okay, we are applying permutation algebra to musicology and linguistics, okay, that's what we're doing. So, um, a vector, okay, let's say you have a uh, hundred comma hundred and fifty comma three hundred okay just three dimensional ve vector okay or third order vector right what is it ordered set okay of scholars that's what a vector is and but we can convert this into unordered set and it goes like this I just do it because we have too much to talk about it. okay so Okay, I give you five seconds. How would you convert an order set into an unordered set? I give you like ten seconds, okay. Without losing any information or any characteristic property of this vector. We will preserve all the property of this vector. How do you convert that into this from this order set into an unordered set without losing any properties, any information, fully preserving? How do you do that? <coughs> it will look like this. Okay, your time's up, all right? One comma hundred two comma hundred and fifty three comma three hundred okay yeah and comma comma now we can switch these guys around because we preserved this ordering one two three okay so it's a tuple itself is a like second order vector okay yeah, it's a column vector because we just wrote it vertical fashion, okay. Because uh, <coughs> in this way, you have an ordered set and a subset of that is ordered set. Because this particular kind of on order set is equivalent to 
orders on order set. It has this uh, within each element. It has this uh, well ordered natural numbers, consecutive natural numbers without any redundant indexing. Okay, if that's the case, then yeah, we can convert that into an ordered set. Could be a vector or a matrix or a tensor, whatever. Okay. This way, a set, unordered set, is a generalization, a generalization of an order set. Unordered set is bigger, is a superset. Okay? So you have order set, on order set. You can com always convert on order set into on order set, okay? Because order set can be thought as this bigger generalization. So order set, set of all the order sets belongs to set of all the on order set. Okay, sub is subset. Okay, but that way not always because uh, on order set is a superset, not subset of order set. Okay. Okay. <coughs> we talked about this. Okay. <coughs> or scalar number a vector, a matrix, a tensor, yeah, it's just a particular case of a, another set. Like, number one is nothing but a set of one number, okay? Um, yeah, th this is one way to generalize number into uh, sets, unordered sets, okay? Yeah, we, we talked about this, okay? So we, we have to move on, okay? So we're gonna take a break, okay? Because uh, I need some vocal rest. And um, we continue, okay? We got a long day ahead, long way to go, okay? So uh, long way to go. We'll be back.
Okay. Let's move on. I took a picture of this, so uh, we can just continue. Uh, let me turn on the heat up, as usual. Uh, can you hear me okay? Oh, well, sorry. There's nothing I can do, okay? So, a song like shit music, let's say Mozart wrote down with pencil and paper this concerto, piano concerto. Or Paganini writing violin concerto. Or what's his name? This guy. I think it's Brazilian guy. Harmonica concerto. Okay, I I keep forgetting his name. Okay, what a shame. Shame on me. Okay. <clears throat> Let me look him up real okay, quick. Okay. Harmonica concerts. There, there are not that many harmonica concerts out there. Okay, so Via Lobos, I think. Yeah, Via Villa, Via Lobos. I think that's his name. Okay, fantastic, fantastic music. Okay, Brazilian. It's relatively recent, 1900s. Okay, he <coughs> he wrote some background music so for Hollywood movies too. Okay. Very well known. Yeah, these uh, Latin Americans, Latinos and Latinas, they are fantastic musicians, artists, dancers. Very. Very artistic people. Great talent. Now. So they're more like artsy kind of people, just like Africans or African Americans. Okay, like they're not very scientifically oriented people. They are more like music, arts, kind of, or athletics, sports. Yeah. So yeah, every people, every race have different sets of talents. Okay, it's just <coughs> their exceptions. But there definite there is definite correlation. Different race. Okay, yeah, Asian we are good at science and mathematics, right? We are very academically oriented kind of. And we are good at martial arts too. Okay, so white they look nice. Yeah, they're very good looking people. Okay. Yeah, to, Different races, they have different talents, and Africans, they have excellent sense of humor, and Middle Easterns, they are great fine artists and great architects in terms of this spatial arts. They are the best. Yeah, Middle Easterns, great architectural beauty, fine art, yeah, sculptures, they are the best. Okay, so, yeah, different races have different talents, okay, so. I'm gonna turn on the hero. Oh boy, another, another hero. So. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, permutation in music. Okay, so you have this. Uh, let's do some piano sonata before we go to concerto. Okay, piano sonata. Okay, so. Or just some single solo a cappella song. All you have is just notes, okay? So you have what frequency, which is like do re mi fa sol la si do, and you have length like da versus da, okay? How long this single note is, you know? And just 
shit music, okay? Score, uh, musical score, shit, whatever. I don't know. I don't remember all those terminologies. And then you have this uh, loudness, how the uh, volume, okay? So yeah, it's three by n matrix, okay? Like a flute, wind instrument, or our human voice, okay? So yeah, that's the simplest music, musical instrument, including human voice, there is, okay? You cannot play two notes at the same time, just one dimensional kind of, okay? Yeah, volume, how loud the single note is. It's like, oh, 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 okay. <coughs> okay. And let's say Mozart wrote this score shit music without any chords, but just, just Let's say uh, Vivaldi, Antonio, I think his first name is Antonio, Antonio Vivaldi. You know, I don't want to mess this up, so let me look him up. What's Vivaldi's first name? Yeah, Antonio Vivaldi. Yeah, he wrote this recordo concerto. Recorder, like vertical flute, not horizontal flute, but vertical flute recorder. Amazing. <sighs> yeah, Four Seasons is very well known, but Vivaldi, my favorite of his is uh, this recorder concerto. It's magical. Oh, he is good. So let's assume, hypothetically, Antonio Vivaldi wrote this recorder, solo recorder music because recorder cannot play any um, chord, it play only one note at a time. <coughs> yeah, it, it will look like this, okay? And then, um, and he wrote it with, uh, for um, recorder, okay? So, as, as soon as he finished writing these notes, this array, this uh, vector of notes, okay? And then you have some Silence somewhere looks like a head, right? Silence or silence or whatever. Okay. Yeah, it, it's just frequency zero or something like that. Okay, so silence, but it, it has length. How long is it? Volume? Yeah, zero. Okay. Yeah, zero is zero. It cannot be loud zero. I mean, poetic allowance. Yeah loud silence we know what it is because all of a sudden it's silent then oh my goodness what what what's going on you know sometimes silence is louder than noise okay because it's a big change <coughs> it can scare you if all of a sudden let's say <coughs> you're hiking by yourself okay and there are all these birds chirping okay La 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 la, oh beautiful bar singing. But all of a sudden, the, the, all these birds become silent. Then it will scare you. Because it means there's some predator like bear just suddenly came by. Right? Yeah, it's gonna scare you. So yeah, silence can be louder than noise. We know, okay? It, but. 
that's poetic allowance. And it's kind of reality too, reality. It's the change from constant noise to sudden silence. That's a big change, delta. Okay. We get it. Okay. We, we, we are humanologists. We are pol polymath, polymath. Okay. We know everything. Okay. So. But for our music, mathematical musicology, permutation musicology, sound, uh, sound of silence, volume of silence is zero, frequency of silence is zero, okay? Right? It just have, have the length. Yeah, we know, silence speaks volume. <laughs> we know, okay? <laughs> We, we, we know all about it. Let's move on, okay? So, um, now, originally Vivaldi uh, wrote, okay, so it's a constant, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a constant function, okay? Once he wrote this music, and he didn't just wrote, it, wrote this music, he just also specified the instrument for this music. It should be recorder. Actually, this uh, musical instrument, comma, this uh, score sheet music, sheet music, they are on order set. Why? Because there are two different elements. A musical instrument is just shadow, okay? It's a sound quality. It's like this shape of this modified sine rhythm uh, i mean sine function using what Fourier Fourier transformation or whatever okay yeah but they're two different things they're not equivalent a musical instrument it could be record or flute or human voice and then uh you have this score music score shit music shit shit music okay because there are two different things, yeah, ordering doesn't matter. That's why it's on order set. These two uh, disparate elements putting together, there's no sense of, no point of ordering them. Because they are already distinguishable. So, a set of disparate elements, like you have vector, and then you have one scalar, and then you have some A, B, C, D, some um, matrix, you put them all together. Yeah. On order set is the right way to group them together. Why? Because they are already readily distinguishable because they are three different mathematical entities, three totally different kinds of mathematical ent entities. Here you have zero, zero dimension, one dimension and two dimension okay if every single element element of uh, a set is different kind to each other then yeah it makes more sense to group them in an unordered set because they are already readily distinguishable so ordering shouldn't matter okay so yeah so it's unordered set Okay. And also it's a constant set. Okay. It's a constant. They don't change. Vivaldi wrote this music in a musical spreadsheet, music sheet music, okay? And he specified this song this music, this tune is for recorder, and it's done, done deal. It's a constant. It's not some function with multi variables now. Okay. Because uh, I watched this uh, Wolfgang, Am you know, the movie Amadeus. Yeah, I turn, turned on the director's commentary, and. Um, When the director was hiring this musical conductor for the background Mozart music, the conductor told this director, um, 
Yeah, I will do it. I will conduct all the background Mozart music for your movie, Amadeus. On the one condition. The condition is, what's that? The condition is that you will not get to change get to make me change a single note of this original Mozart music. I'm, I will conduct, play this, conduct this orchestra of mine, but we will do verbatim. We will not modify a single note from the original Mozart music, okay? So he's an originalist kind of conductor. And this director of Amadeus movie, she said, oh yeah, oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're hired, man. Okay. So yeah, it's a constant, all right? Of course, different players, different in instrumentalists, yeah, they can make changes. No problem. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the original score sheet and the specification of who plays this score, this uh, music score sheet, this tune, as it is written by the composer, it is a constant, it's not a variable. Then what is variable then? Yeah, we can pair up, let's say, uh, player, instrumentalist, I. So it's, just, it's a power set, set of set, okay? Again, okay. so this is the original score sheet, right? And the, here you, you as instrumentalist, individual. Yeah, the, this is a variable. And so you have a variable, another variable called time. Why? The same individual, depending on what day of the year it may be, he probably will sing this tune I will play this tune with the recorder in a very different ways depending on his mood, his energy level, okay? So what is this? Yeah, it's a performance. So this is a performance function. <coughs> we cannot use P, okay? So uh, I have a rendition, rendition function. Okay, performance, rendition, rendering, okay? Yeah, it's a function. This, it takes three inputs, okay? Yeah, uh, nah. well, we have three variables. What music are you playing? And who are you? And what time of the year are you playing? Okay, person, time, and what music are you playing? But we are just fixing this. In uh, when you do partial differential, partial differentiation of multivariate function, maybe, yeah, you you fix other all the other variables, right? So that's kind of thing what we are doing here. Okay, so and guess what? We can also change this. Uh, Okay, so let me take a picture of this and then we'll take a break and then we start doing some permutation here, okay? So I told you it's gonna be a busy day. Okay, we'll take a break, okay? So alcohol is for only very strongly disciplined people who can control themselves. Okay, <clears throat> if you can if you cannot control yourself, then you should not be drinking alcohol. Okay, because that can ruin you. <clears throat> okay, alcohol is for only for the, the, the disciplined elite. Okay, very strongly disciplined people, because one man's medicine can be another man's poison. All right, so. I'm very well disciplined person, okay? Because that's how I grew up, all right? My parents, my grandparents, my teachers, my friends, okay? Yeah, they disciplined me very well. So, I, so, I, so I'm very blessed that way, that's in that sense, okay? 
So yeah, because I, I know how to control myself, I'm capable of controlling myself. Drinking is no problem. Okay, because I can always control myself. But if you are not able to control yourself, then you shouldn't be drinking. Because you drinking can ruin your life. If you are not capable of controlling yourself, okay? Let's take five, okay? Did I uh, take a picture of this? Let me see. Let me see. I did. Good. Now, yeah, I switched my glasses because that glasses doesn't quite match with the rest of my clothing so um next we're gonna do a uh, permutation all right so permutation is an operator okay so we'll do swap like two to pull um what uh, uh cyclone 
okay actually no it's not it's substitution it's not swap it's not cyclone it's substitution and we write substitution in vertical fashion r to human voice okay by the way i came up with this nice cyclone notation how about this like two two three swapping okay how about this hmm cycle cyclone it looks looks like parenthesis but with an arrow with a twist twig okay yeah you switch two and three swap cyclone two three one cyclone two become three three become one one become two okay cyclone notation yeah okay so that's that so you multiply this guy is a, is a, a, a substitution operator okay this can be anything okay it can be equation algebraic expression matrix vector scalar or set it doesn't matter okay that's the power of this uh, permutation algebra it also includes substitution too okay because we are not switching some two things that already exist here we take one existing thing into something totally new human voice if it because human voice and record are their equivalent why because wind instrument human voice is also wind instrument <sighs> wind instrument pipe vocal cord okay just like recorder or trumpet okay <coughs> there this guy uh let me look him up okay trumpet musician from Latin America feels so good trumpet Chuck Mangione Chuck Mangione what country is he from He's an American, okay. Well, he, he I thought he was he's Hispanic. Okay, he's a he's an American. What's his race? He's from New York. Italian, okay. I guess he's an Italian American kind of uh, descendant or descendant of Italian American Americans, I think. Somehow I, I thought he's Hispanic. I, I thought he was la Latino, but okay. So American, New Yorker, Italian descent, I think, okay. Anyways, yeah. Da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la 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 do 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 do
タタタタタタラタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタ Let's say、uh, you love this hypothetical Vivaldi record or solo music, but you don't know how to play a recorder. Me, yeah, I learned in <coughs> Korean elementary school because every Korean elementary schoolers back in the 1980s they had to learn it, okay? So it was a mandatory musical instrument, okay? Because it's small, it's portable, yeah, they can purchase it with this plastic recorder, relatively inexpensive to purchase, and then portable, kind of small, and not that difficult to play the basics. So, yeah, we have to learn it, okay? Everybody. Korean elementary school, like fifth grade or something, okay? So, yeah, I, I did learn, but I wasn't good at it. But... Because you can't be a virtuoso. Virtuosic with record of it. I, I heard those wonderful record of music, okay? It, that's like higher, higher dimension, okay? But basically, I can, I can play, okay? Even I can play, okay? But let's say <clears throat> you are a good singer, but you are not a very good record of player. But you love this Vivaldi, Antonio Vivaldi tune. So what do you do? Yeah, you use this、uh, substitution. Operator, the recorder to human voice. Okay? Yeah, then you can sing. La. Da 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 da. Okay? So, yeah, we just use this substitution operator to this、uh, musical tune by Antonio Vivaldi. Okay? It's a mathematical modeling of all these musical activities. Why do we do it? Because it's interesting. That's the only reason I'm doing, we are doing、okay? We are explaining human phenomena, human activities with, in the language of mathematics.、Okay? That's what we're doing.、Okay? It's translation between different languages, from English to mathematics. Okay. I mean, even English language itself is just number base 26. We talked about that before. Okay, so sentence, everything, okay, even music, yeah, it can be all converted to numbers mathematically. I mean, that's how c o m p u t e r stores this music, painting, video, story. Yeah, it's all storable in c o m p u t e r Zeros and ones. Okay, so. All right, so that's that. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, I, I don't think there is any more to say in terms of music. Now we are going to do linguistics. Okay. And、um, it has to be PG 13. I'm sorry. Ah,、oh, boy. Because、uh, probably it's a good idea to take a break, okay? Because.、Um, I should have taken a picture, picture of this, but yeah, whatever. You're gonna have to take a break, okay? But after I say this, okay?、Um, I'm not a racist, okay? I love black people. I, <laughs> I am not a racist, okay? <clears throat> so, what is racism? Yeah. Hatred of a race, racial bias, racial prejudice. I don't have that. I love every race on earth. Okay, you, you, you have to know because what, I, what we're going to discuss next in linguistics, it's,、um, it can be misinterpreted. Okay, and it could be inflammatory and it could be. Even、um, 
I can get into trouble for the next uh, segment after we take a break. Okay, so, but I have to do it. Why? Because it is true. Okay, just letting you know, I'm not a racist. I, I love black race. Period. Okay, I, some of my best friends are African Americans. Okay, so I'm. We take a break and we talk about politics or race and then we do uh, permutation linguistics. We have to. We cannot get around this. Okay. We have to do this. You have no, no idea what I'm going to talk about. Okay. That's fine. We take a break. We get to it. Okay. We have to do this, okay? <laughs> oh boy. What did I get myself into, man? Oh boy. We'll be back, okay? Ah. Boy, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. What did I get myself into? Ah. Boy, oh boy.
looking for my slipper. Slippers. Slipper. S. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's crack a joke, okay? It's, it's gonna be tense. What are we gonna talk about me? Let's crack a joke, okay? So, you know, I go online sometimes, online dating site, and some girls, you know. Oh, you are Asian. You must have very small penis. Okay, lady. If my penis is very small now, is it my fault or is it your fault? Because if my penis size is very small now, it means uh, I find you very unattractive. So my penis is telling me, oh, I want to shrink back because I don't want to have sex with that girl. So please, oh, I, no, 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 I want to shrink back just like a turtleneck. No, ugh, no, I don't want you. You're, you are unattractive. So yeah, it's not my fault, but later on, hopefully you become a very attractive lady. You know, no piercing, get rid of piercings and tattoos, and you become slender, fashionable. Oh, then yeah, my, when I, then when I see you next time, <clears throat> my penis will become very, very big because my penis will tell me, Please have sex with me. I will get inside of her. Please. That was a joke. We talked about this before. Okay. PG-13, I'm sorry. I, I always forget to say PG-13 beforehand. Please forgive me. Okay. Race. Race politics. Okay, so it's this. Okay, so racism. Okay, typically it's like uh, white people, right? So... African Americans, uh, their their ancestors came here as um, forced labor, okay, like labor importation um, against their wills, okay. So yeah, it's wrong. Slavery is wrong. Period. That's why the ideology of slaverism died, okay. The wrong ideology doesn't last very long. It has finite span, lifespan. Okay. It was mainstream in Europe, in America, okay? It was mainstream thing. But mainstream ideology, though it may be, if it's a wrong ideology, it's not sustainable. It doesn't last forever. It has finite lifespan. Okay. But yeah, God works in a mysterious ways. So yeah, later on this great American president that I admire the most, Abraham Lincoln. Why do I admire him the most? Because he's a self-made man, born poor. Born poor, penniless. The poorest American family. That's Abe Lincoln. He moved out of his house, he went to the town, and he got a job. He worked his ass off, and he rose up through the ranks and he became the American fucking president. From the very bottom to the very top, that's Abraham Lincoln. Okay, I admire I do. American dream. The symbol of American dream, Mr. President Abraham Lincoln. Not only that, yeah, he got rid of abolished slavery in America. Cheers to uh, Mr. President Lincoln. Too bad he's in this lowest currency, penny, one cent. But yeah, it's kind of copper. It kind of looks like black, you know, African American. So yeah, in a way, it kind of makes sense. Okay, because he was very friendly to African Americans, you know. So, <clears throat> so yeah, African Americans, they have this unique culture in terms of language, music, dancing. They're the jewels black pearls of America, and they are very, very beautiful. I've seen very beautiful African-American girls. I've seen them in Detroit, Michigan, and in Alaska, in Los Angeles, California. I met many, many, many of them, especially 
when I was doing acting. Okay, yeah, I would go to auditions and beautiful African American girls, like hundred percent African American girls. Halle Berry, yeah, she's pretty, okay, but I've seen African Americans at least as beautiful as Halle Berry. Okay. I've, I've met them, I've talked to them. A couple of them were more beautiful than Halle Berry. Okay, so. Yeah. In Los Angeles, California, Detroit, Michigan, I've seen African American girls more beautiful than Halle Berry. Okay. I have. <laughs> Telling you. Yeah, they're beautiful. And African American guys, they're very handsome men. Oh, they're beautiful. Very handsome. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, so called racism, what it is, is this. It's, it's just extended nepotism, extended colonialism. Okay. Let's say we, talk, we talked about this. Okay. Let's say I'm on Asia. Yeah, I am on Asian guy, right? And I'm a small businessman, okay? So, and I'm about to retire, okay? And I have three, I have two employees. One Asian guy and one white guy. And they're equally good and equally nice, equally loyal. Okay, I have to pick my successor of my business. Who will be my next business owner? Because they, they can be only one person. Okay, so should I pick this Asian guy or this white guy? Okay, so a lot of times it happens like this. Yeah, this Asian guy, this white guy, none of the, I, neither of them is related to me in terms of this uh, family line or last name. But this Asian guy, you know, he's Asian, so genetically speaking he's more close to me okay because everything else is equal okay they're both hardworking, both smart both nice ideologically yeah they're just like me conservative whatever okay half liberal half, half conservative whatever so many times yeah they go with the same race it's not just whites it's asians Blacks, whites, Hispanics, it's all work the same way, okay? People tend to prefer uh, their own race kind of people. You know, birds over feather flock together, right? That's what it is, okay? So, and in this day and age in America, time and place, it happened to be that... Uh, White people are the richest because, I mean, the very first race that who came to America is Asian, okay? Yeah, Bering Strait during the Ice Age, when the sea level was low because all the water, ice water, sea water was frozen up in this polar caps, two polar Arctic, Antarctic, polar caps, ice caps. So the sea level was low so that's why all this land bridge or Bering Strait was exposed so that's how Asians some Asians came to America because they want to build their own country they want to be independent yeah it's all about power politics okay so yeah let's go to brand new world and there are the Eskimos and later on uh, Native Americans in Canada and United States, Native Americans, Indians, okay, and then they went further, further down south and they became Native uh, South Americans, the like Inca, Aztec, um, what's the other one? There was Inca, Aztec, and one more. Let me look it up. I don't want to forget things.
Maya. Maybe Maya. Yeah, they they all came from Asia. Okay, they that's why they kind of look like me. All the natives, like in Alaska, you have uh, Eskimos, right? And then you have Native American Indians, and then you have Inca, this uh, South American Indians like Inca, Maya, Aztec. Okay, they all, they just look like me. Okay, Asians. Okay. So Asians came first, and then came whites, and then came uh, black. So it's like gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal, kind of, okay. Okay, stop crying with racism, okay? Because nowadays, one of the toxic ideologies out there is hyper anti-racism. These stupid idiots, mostly liberals, they just cry racism. Oh, 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 that's racist, oh. Okay, you need to stop with this. Okay, so me, humanology or us, we are anti, hyper anti-racism, okay? <laughs> it's kind of mathematical, isn't it? Yeah, it is mathematical. I mean, we don't like racism, but we are against, we are against hyper anti-racism. Oh, snow is white. Oh, that's racist. Milk is white. That's racist. Sun, that's white. That's racist. Get rid of it. Get rid of the sun. Get rid of milk. Get rid of snow. Let's turn everything black. Okay. Paint it black. Rolling Stone. <laughs> make everything brown. Make everything black. Okay, get rid of all the whites. Okay. Oh, white girls. Yeah, ethnic guys. Yeah, fuck her. Yeah, marry her. Yeah, Ted, Ted Cruz, Michael Rubio, Bruce Lee, what? Tiger Woods, uh, Steve Mnuchin, uh, Jerry Kushner. All these ethnic guys. Yeah, marrying white, the most beautiful young white girls. Yeah, let's get rid of all the white race. White race is white is racist. Okay, so. Nonsense, right? I mean, that's what America is now. Oh, you're black. Oh, yeah. You, you never. You are never. You cannot commit crime because blacks they cannot commit crimes because if a black person is accused of a crime, that's racism. Hyper anti-racism. Okay, is they're doing it this too much. Okay. Oh, you 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 talk some negative made some negative comments on this black guy or oh, you're a racist because you can never say anything negative against a person if he's black why because if you do you're a racist unless you are black too <laughs> okay so yeah hyper anti-racism not good Okay, so very toxic ideology that's in dominant, prevalent hegemony in America in 2019, April. Can President Trump fix this? No, he can't. I mean, he hired the Steve Monochin. He let his daughter, Ivanka, marry uh, this ethnic guy, Jerry Kushner. He doesn't know how fuck okay he's so incapable unable he's not capable of solving any problems okay i mean he has some good ideas but he's not capable of implementing any solutions okay he's just not capable enough that's why i'm running for president in 2020 okay so you better vote for me okay so Alright, so that's that, and um, um, why am I telling you all this? 
because we're gonna do some very control, highly controversial permutation linguistics. Okay, so okay, that later. Okay, we have to cover some basics in linguistics. Okay, so there are these consonant groups, phoneme groups, like let's say you have just teeth right and then you have tongue and you have palate and this is your throat okay so back of your tongue can touch the back of your ceiling of your mouth palate or it can touch the front front of your tongue back of your tongue touching back of your palate front of your tongue touching okay F front of your palate okay and then you also have lips this is your nose by the way you have your lips lips these are uh, labial sounds okay here you have labial sounds b m so okay v a w some languages is called double v not sure it's french or german okay double v or something okay v w m b okay and so there's a labial sound labial like lips okay p p b m okay and then you have alveolar sound Okay, which is like n, t, d. Um, I mean, the there's a labial dental sound. It's a your tongue and your teeth, but they are more interchangeable with this alveolar sound, like these and God. The theism or theology, okay, they're kind of interchangeable, okay. So those are interchangeable groups, okay. So sets. R, r, l, okay. And then this, we saw like pharyngeal, pharynx, pharyngeal sound. I, I, I don't exactly remember how the, this linguistics terminology, but it's like g. Well, j is alveolar, also ch, alveolar, okay? G, g, k, and then you have this German. Okay, like Ireland, Irish, like loch, lake, okay? Then, Okay. The back of the throat. Okay, so uh, back of the mouth. These guys are very interchangeable. If you know multiple languages, they're like similar similar sounds, or similar words in between related languages. Cognates. Okay, kind of relatives, cousins. Okay, so front, middle, and end. Front, middle, back. Okay. Everything good comes in three, kind of beginning, middle, and end. Okay, so we take a break, okay, and we get to this, okay. Oh, how about vowels? They're like zeros, zero, number zero, vowels. These are consonants, but zeros, they're a, a, e, o, u, okay. They're, they're just We we'll take a break and we get back to this, okay? Linguistics, permutation linguistics, okay? Mathematical linguistics. Take a break.
you know what the problem do you know what the problem is in this day and age in America all these so-called Millennials or even old people they stop trying okay they say yeah I'm fat so what it's okay to be fat or oh. yeah it's hard to be a man okay all these girls they don't want to date me because I'm such a loser so I'm lonely so yeah I'll just be I'll just stop being a manly man I will be a gay guy and have sex with other guys other losers like me or girls yeah you know what I'm a girl and it's so difficult to be a girl all these guys they're jerks so I'll stop trying being a girl I will be a lesbian and start talking and walking like a guy they just give up on themselves okay so that's that's the dominant problem in America okay people are weak okay they don't even try I'm fat I'm gay I'm lesbian and they're giving up upon themselves tattoos piercings they make themselves ugly <sighs> too bad and white girls hey, you know what Oh, it's so difficult to be a white girl because they call me racist just because I'm white. Guess what? I'm going to mar marry ethnic guys so that our children will be no longer be white. Let's get rid of, let's eliminate the white race. So they uh, marry ethnic guys like Ivanka Trump, Tiffany Trump. I, I don't know. I, she probably this dumb fucking, <laughs> dumb fucking blonde. The fourth daughter of the, the Almighty, the this Republican Party's God, this President fucking Trump, his daughter. <coughs> I think he's still dating this ethnic guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's Jewish guy, but doesn't matter what ethnicity he is. He's ethnic. He's brown. That's bad. Okay, so because they want to get rid of white race. Okay, so. Yeah, he, President Trump, he cannot even control his two most precious women in the world. His two daughters, blonde, beautiful, young, white daughters. He couldn't even control his own two daughters. Then how can he possibly control the entire nation? He can't. Okay, and That's why I'm running for president in 2010. Okay? I'm running against him. Okay? And you, you may say, oh, hey, man, you, you are single, yummy. At least President Trump, he has his family, is married and has kids, but you don't even have kids. You don't even have a girlfriend, come on, let alone a wife. If you are too lazy to lead a family have a family if you are too lazy to have a family how can you have a nation a country well uh you know a family man family guy a husband father he spent too much time playing with his family and because i'm single i've been single I, I can devote my time accumulating, learning, knowledge, wisdom, okay, so that's why I'm intellectually superior, intellectually I'm superior to everybody on earth, in my arrogant opinion, okay, so that's why I should be leading, not just America, the world, okay, so that's why I'm running, okay. Okay, let's get back to this. Let me shut the fuck up and do permutation linguistics. Okay, so A, B, S, S, okay, C, yeah, it's C, same as S or K, right? C, D, E, F, F, F. labiodental, okay. 
veut. E F G H I J K L M N O P Q yeah K Q R S T U V W X is like or K K K S X X Y U U Avila Okay Y Z Z Z Avila Okay So that's that Okay And they are all interchangeable Maybe V W F Okay Maybe there's some dividing line Because V W Wu is like a, yeah, yeah, it's kind of semi consonant, semi vowel, okay, quasi consonant, but like Volkswagen, okay, yeah, what is Volkswagen? Yeah, I know some German, okay. Volkswagen. It's like people's wagon. Folks. Okay. Folks wagon. Wagon. Okay. Yeah, it's people's car. Kind of chip. Okay. The Beatles. You know. Yeah. As lang or language evolve and beget another foreign language, okay, it's, it's like evolution tree, you know. Yeah, they interchange this within this uh, consonant groups, three consonant groups, and fourth this vowel group. Okay, o approximately you have four groups or five groups, you know, or here and here, we have four point five groups. Okay, yeah, the phoneme groups, sound groups. Okay depending on the location in our mouth, how this sound is pronounced, okay? And they are very interchangeable, okay? Like, Zeus, you have Z. And um, in um, Zeus, God, Greek God, Zeus. In um, <clears throat> Portuguese, it's called Juice, 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 juice. I love this Rita Lee, the Brazilian uh, singer, female singer. She's heterosexual. Yeah, she kind of look like tomboy kind of, but she's not a dyke. No, she's heterosexual. She married a man. But she's one of those white people, white, isolated white group in Brazil. Okay, so yeah, she has red hair, blue eyes, white skin, okay. So she, yeah, she's one of my favorite uh, singers of all time. Is yeah, she sang the song uh, "Baila Comigo," okay, "Dance with Me." Ba si Deus quiser. Can I write that? Yes, it's, I I know some Portuguese. She's Brazilian, okay. Si Deus quiser, okay. Brazilian, I mean, Portuguese is like halfway between um, Spanish and French, okay? R, French R, French R or Portuguese R is like H. Si Dios quiser. Okay? Yeah, so. Zeus. Juice and theology, theo, theology. Okay, yeah, they're very interesting. They all means God. What it, does this mean? If God wish, if God wishes, 
Okay. I thought Gizeh means uh, asks if God inquires. That's like, that's what I thought. A question, okay? But it's like, I learned quite recently, Gizeh means wish. Wish. Okay. But does this have same word origin as question? Yes. Why? Because we don't care about vowels because they are all equivalent. They are all interchangeable. Okay. So, Gizeh, wish. Okay. Gizeh, question, quest. This means wish, desire, want. Question, we are asking, inquiring, quest. You are looking for something. You are, in, you are asking a question. You are looking for an answer. Quest. Explore. Okay? Explore. To find the answer. Quest. Question. Conceptually, it's kind of related to wanting, wishing. You are wanting something in the future. You are wishing for something in the future. So hence, therefore, ergo, you are looking for it. You want what? A wife, money, fame, power. You want it, so you are looking for it. It's a quest for money, power, and fame. Or the truth, knowledge, wisdom. You want it, that's why you are looking for it. You are asking it. You're asking for it. So yeah, they are related. <laughs> okay? We'll say this one, two, three. Okay, so three, two, 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 three, two, two. Okay? So how many, because uh, in every Civilization came from Middle East, Arab, Northern, North Africa, Middle East, Tigris, Euphrates, Garden of Eden, you know, Abraham, Jews, okay, yeah, Jewish origin, Adam and Eve, okay. So in Arabic, the Middle Eastern language, or Jewish, it is similar, okay, so. It's three consonant system, like Salam, okay. Shalom, okay? Okay, S. You also have SH. Sh, okay? Salam. So what is it? S, L, two, two, one. Okay? So there are six of them. Uh, I'm sorry, nine of them. Three times three times three. Three times. 3 times 3 times 3, okay, so it's counting, combinatorics, okay, 1, 2, 3 can come on the fourth part, second part, yeah, 1, 2, 3, third part, 1, 2, 3, okay, 3 times 3 times 3 times is 9, so in this three consonant system. Yeah, all this Middle Eastern language words is mostly uh, three consonant, like salam. What other Arabic word do I know? What's lion in Arabic? It's common name in Arabic, person's name in Arabic, okay, lion. Let me look it up because I know how to read Arabic, okay, so let me look up in this uh, translation soft app I have. It's downloadable app from Google Translator because they are good. Google Translation, oh, they're, they're very good. Arabic, okay, lion. I 
Assad. Okay. Assad. Hamri al Assad. It's the Ham. It's the Hamri Henry the the lion kind of. We we forgot one more thing. Ng. Mm. Ng. Mm. Mm. Nang 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 nang. Okay. Ng. Okay. It's like Assad. Assad. Okay. So. Assad, like Assad. Okay, so uh, you have three, two, two, three, two, two. Okay. You know, before I forget, I'm gonna take a picture of this because this is very, very important. Okay, we are breaking new ground in linguistics. Okay, so permutation linguistics, mathematical linguistics. And this mm, uh, 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 the ng mm, mm, like swimming, it's kind of interchangeable with consonants. I mean vowels, vowels. Okay, those are <coughs> a, e, e, o, u. Okay, but like, yeah, w or like h. Yeah, they're kind of interchangeable with vowels. So there are some traders. Some of these consonants, they kind of, kind of intermingle, socialize with these enemies, vowels. Okay, so they kind of traitorous consonants in there. Some in there. Okay, several of them. Okay, we're gonna take a break and we'll continue. Okay. <sighs> I'm not trying to say save the best to the last. Well, maybe. Because I'm here to train you, discipline you, and correct your wrong. I'm here to make you stronger people. So, it's been was already two hours. But when we got through all this preliminary stuff, preliminary stuff, I will challenge you. Okay? And... I told you I can get into trouble for doing that thing, but I will have to do it, okay? Because it's the truth, linguistical truth, okay? So, again, we are not racist, okay? But it will sound, it, it can be very easily misinterpreted as racism, okay? But it's not, okay? So, just hold on tight, sit tight, press yourself, and also relax, okay? It's nothing serious. But know that something is coming, okay? Um, it can be very controversial and can be misinterpreted as racism, but it's not. It's science, linguistics, okay? So we'll take a break, okay? So. <coughs> All right. Take a break.
Okay. You know, uh, we we are humanologists. Okay, we advocate for what is just, what is true, what is right. So yeah, we are against racism because it's wrong to hate somebody, despise somebody, just based on this person's race. I mean, it's not right. Yeah, we are anti-racists, but we are not hyper anti-racists because. You should not overdo it. You should not overdo anti-racism. Okay. Yeah, we are all anti-racist, but we don't want to overdo it. You don't want to be hyper about it. Okay. So we are anti-racists as humanologists because racism is wrong. But we don't want to overdo it. So when you do, when you overdo it, that's hyper anti-racism, like crying racism all the time. Like, I let's say I crack a joke about Hispanics, and you accuse me of racist against Hispanics. No, I was just cracking a joke because I even joke about my own race, Asian, like what, geek, chink, gook. <laughs> Let me write it for you. Let me spell it out for you. Geek, chink, gook, okay? It's, it's like three syllable because Korean name, Chinese name many times it's three syllable name, right? So geek tick, it's something I came up with, okay? So yeah, I make, make fun of my own race, okay? Yeah, racial jokes. Ah! I do that all the time because it's fun. <laughs> what, Hispanics, what, bean pickers, spicks. <laughs> what, uh... Panicky Hispanics, Hispanic panic. Yeah, yeah, I make fun of white people too. Yeah, what, honkies, crackers, whatever, okay. White trash. Jokes are jokes, okay. It doesn't mean anything. It does not mean anything. It's, you're supposed to la be laughing and just go along with it. It's a joke. You are not supposed to be serious. It's light-hearted, relaxed entertainment. It's the counter-thesis, anti-thesis, opposite of seriousness. We are not in business. No, we are at leisure. We are having fun. We are relaxed. Yeah, we joke around, make fun of other people. It doesn't mean anything. Don't be so serious all the time. Come on. Hello? Okay. Did I take a picture of this? Uh, well, I, I'm gonna take another picture of this anyway. I have some other stuff in there. Okay, so. <clears throat> So I'm going to erase all this shit. Okay, so. <clears throat> so, in Bible, okay, Bible talks about light and darkness, okay? It's like black and white, okay? <laughs> Night and day, okay, so. I'm just telling you how Bible is, you know. Mostly in the New Testament, okay, so this light that, well, even in Old Testament, there's this, what, David, by the way, Jews, all the authors of this Bible, yeah, Jesus, Abraham, Moses, 
St. Paul, they are all Middle Easterns. They are browns. They are not white. They are not black. They are kind of in the middle. Browns. Middle Easterns. Arabs. Jews. Browns. Middle Easterns. North Africans. Middle East. Okay? Yeah, Adam and Eve. They, they, they're all... Yeah, Rachel, Sarah, what, Bathsheba, or Delilah, Samson. All browns, okay? They are not blondes. No, you watch some Hollywood movies about Samson and Delilah. They are white people. No. All the biblical characters, biblical authors, Adam, Eve, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they're all browns. Middle Eastern, okay? They're fucking Middle Eastern, okay? They're fucking Jews. They're fucking Middle Eastern. They're all fucking browns. Shitty, this brown shit. Okay, that's all Bible... Quran, <laughs> Persians, Cyrus, Alexander, Italians, what, what, Caesar, Cleopatra, they were fucking browns, okay, shit, shit race, browns, oh, hey, come on, I'm brown myself too, okay, so, neither black nor white, okay, because blacks, they are not black, that dark core browns because it's like sunglasses just like it's sunblock okay that's why their skin is dark or because in Africa the Sun is too strong so it's some black or so that in order to prevent skin cancer okay so that's all it ultraviolet yeah it flips coins in our gene DNA it flips a bit yeah so they evolved to be have this melanin okay this skin dye it's just like sunglasses okay oh you son oh you're evil you have ultraviolet wavelengths this frequency this electromagnetic wave and i don't want to get skin cancer so i'm gonna wear sunglasses not just my eyes all over my skin because i don't want to get skin cancer okay yeah that's melanin okay darker skin when the sun is very strong in this uh, latitude, like equator, okay? It's evolution, okay? And they are beautiful, okay? Yeah, dark color skin, dark skin is very, very beautiful, like black pearl, this black jaguar, black panther. Yeah, they are all beautiful. I mean, dark night. Oh, yeah, so beautiful, you know. Dark forest, night forest. They're beautiful. There's some romance to it. Okay. By the way, in terms of romance, you know, all these criminalists, gayists, they romanticize their criminalism and gayism. Okay. Oh yeah, it's homoeroticism. It's something romantic. Man, another man. It's romantic. They romanticize these evil acts. Criminal, criminalists. Yeah, you know, it's romantic. It's what? Bonnie and Clyde. It's romantic. Okay, yeah. It's Arsene Lupin. Yeah, gentleman burglar. Or, yeah, I take my chances. It's romantic. Bullshit. There's nothing romantic about fucking criminalism or gayism. Okay. It's... Oh, Oscar Wilde, oh, this great romanticist, novelist, writer, bullshit, she's ass fucking faggot, okay, so. <laughs> you can see I'm kind of drunk, but it has a purpose. First, I'm having fun. Second, you're being disciplined. You're being disciplined, okay. Huh? You, you need to be disciplined. You, you are doing something very wrong, okay, so. We'll take very small bread, okay? Uh. 
that something just got into my eye, my right eye, so I had to flush it out. Ah, oh, boy. I'm gonna switch out some drinks because uh, we're, what I'm gonna say next, maybe I'm kind of nervous about it, okay? Because, ah, uh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of uh, reluctant to talk about this thing because it can cause some great controversy, okay? It's because uh, okay, but at the same time, it gives us gives us this opportunity to explore some profound philosophy about light and absence of light, darkness, darkness. Okay, so. Stop crying racism, okay? Because humanology, you have we ha have no room for racism or hyper anti-racism, okay? You don't get to do that here. If you want to do that, do it somewhere else because we we don't we don't have time for you, okay? If you are racist or hyper anti-racist, we don't have time for you, okay? We are busy. All right? You want to cry racism? or you don't want to be a racist, go somewhere else. We don't have time for you. We are too busy, okay? Go somewhere else, all right? So. We cannot accommodate your ignorance and your bigotry. Either you are racist or you are hyper anti-racist, crying racism all the time. Oh, just because I'm not white, you do this. We don't have time for you, okay? We are too busy, okay? Because we mean business, okay? We, want, we mean science. We don't have time for emotional, your immature ignorance. We don't have time for that, okay? But you are welcome here. I, we want you to be here so that you learn and repent get better and more, be more intelligent and more sharp sharper and more knowledgeable okay you're welcome here just unlearn you what you have learned just like this yoda in this towers said empty your mind okay just say eastern philosophy empty your mind you're a cop you have to get rid of all the water so that you can get filled with brand new water. Just like Jesus said, yeah. Get rid of your wealth and then follow me. Give all the money to the poor and follow me. Okay? It's the same concept. Okay. By the way, I'm, I'm not asking you to give out all your money to the poor because we are against that. Because that's not going to solve the poverty problem. Okay? You only extend their poverty. They will ask you for more and more and more. Yeah. Don't give out your money. Okay? Save it or enjoy. Use it. Okay? Or invest it. Okay? Don't just give it away. Okay? So. But in terms of metaphysical interpretation of this, Jesus is saying, Give out to the poor and follow me. Yeah, it's, it's about knowledge, metaphysical, okay? Yeah, teach other people, okay? Then learn something new. Okay, that's how we interpret that. Anyway, get back to, let's get back to this, okay? So, I'm still hesitating to do this, okay? So, this light and darkness. Okay, white and black. But if you're a black person, it's not because you love the darkness. No. You want to protect yourself from this skin cancer, this ultraviolet light from the sun. Evil sun, okay? Yeah, you're just trying to survive as a human being. That's why 
you live in Africa, your skin color became darker. It, it's like sunglasses, okay? Yeah, sunblock. You want to filter out all this ultraviolet light so that you don't get skin cancer. That's why you are dark. If you, uh, your ancestors are from Africa, okay? Or Polynesia. Yeah, or India. Okay? The sun is too strong. You don't want to get skin cancer. So you have to block out, filter out all this ultraviolet light. That's why you are, your skin is dark. It's for survival. Because you happen to live in this equatorial, long summer, this hot sunlight. Yeah, that's why your skin color is dark. It's not that you love darkness, absence of light, absence of energy. No, you are not evil. Okay? Yeah, darkness is nothing but absence of energy, absence of light, absence of heat. Coldness is nothing but absence of heat, energy, okay? You are not evil or you are you don't love darkness, darkness per se. It's just that there's too much light in this equatorial, this Africa, India, Polynesia, Pacific Ocean. You have too much light, too much energy, sunshine. You want to strike some balance. Okay, let's introduce some darkness because you have too much energy, too much light. Yeah, too much light, too much plus what, 100, 1000. Let's ba balance it out. Too much light. Let's balance it out with uh, equal darkness. Sunblock, sunglasses, dark skin, okay? You want to balance it out so that this, you add them together or you become, become zero. Balance. Okay? Now, if you go up in the Arctic, okay, yeah, Europe, Northern Europe, they have what? You have too much light, then you're introducing some darkness with the, with the Sunglasses, very fashionable sunglasses, whole body sunglasses, okay? That's like uh, Africa, okay? Then you go up north in the Europe, you have too much darkness because in, in the Arctic, North Pole, there is the winter, long nights. I live in Alaska, so I know things about long winter and long darkness like, oh, during the summer like midnight sun yeah all, all that shit okay too much so we have two dimension okay this is uh sun and your skin okay yeah you have too much darkness because you don't have much sun in the northern european region so to balance that out their skin color is very light it's a dye dualism, okay? Minus, plus, plus, minus, okay? Yeah, it's dye dualism. Dye dual, dye dualism, okay? Minus, plus, something like that. Something like that, okay? It's a dye dualism, okay? Let me take a picture of this before I forget. <sighs> you know, I'm trying to be politically correct. Because I'm half liberal, half conservative, okay? I'm trying to, doing my best to be politically correct, man. Because... Yeah, I'm running for president. I need liberal votes and, pol and conservative votes. I need both, okay? I'm kind of black horse candidate. Very unknown. You know, nameless, small, doggy dog, you know, dog eat dog world. So, yeah, I, I need every single vote I can get. Okay, so I need to appeal to both liberals and conservatives, which is who I am. I'm half liberal, half conservative. Okay. 
So yeah, if you are dark skinned, you are not evil person. Okay. So we'll take a break. I'm approaching this issue in a very slow fashion because we need to. Okay. Because I'm exorcising you from hyper anti racism. Okay. Because so many Americans are infected by this toxic evil ideology of hyper anti racism. Okay. I'm being very nice. I'm not typically like this. So thank me later. Okay. We'll take over. Okay. So. Ah. Kids, when are you gonna grow up? Huh? <clears throat> Can you guess where I'm going with all this? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Take a guess, okay? Where am I, am I going with all this? Take a guess, okay? Take a guess, be my guess. You know, uh, there's this American musical band, ACDC, Highway to Hell, man.
<sighs> Did you hear me? Highway to Hell is one of my favorite songs of all time. Okay. Highway fuck. Highway to fucking hell, and that's. I live. That's the way I live every fucking day. Okay. I live every fucking day just like it's my last day on earth because it very well could be. I can be murdered. I can get into car accident. I can be killed and eaten by a bear. Yeah, I can die tomorrow or today. Thunder strike, thunderbolt, lightning strike, earthquake because I live in Alaska. <laughs> Fucking Alaska, man. <laughs> I can die today, tomorrow, so I give it my best, -est. best, -est. okay, I give it my best. Highway to hell, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say something very controversial and something very can easily uh, ruin my life, my career, my reputation, everything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, let's go, he let's go to hell. Highway to hell, baby. Yeah, bring it on, okay? Come on. I'm ready. <sighs> to fight you. Okay, so evil ideologies. High point anti racism, okay? Come on. Come and get me, because I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Ah. 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 I'm ready. Let's do this, okay. Uh, just, let's get it done and over with. So I gotta eat, okay? Go to bed, wake up tomorrow, happy Thursday, okay? I gotta go back to work, okay? I gotta sleep, eat. I just do it, okay? So, N G R. Yeah. Negro, okay? Again, I'm not against race. I'm not against black people, okay? But darkness, okay? It has some negative connotation, like in Bible, okay? Okay, Psalm by David. I'm walking in the shadow of the valley of death, okay? But perhaps if God is nice, maybe he will pre preserve me and lead me to this green pasture and let me have some nice retirement package. <laughs> Social security benefit. <laughs> when I'm what, 67 or something. By the way, I, I found out recently, yeah, if you are over 67, you can get social security benefit at the same time you can have a job okay you still get the money okay uh, it, it pays when you live long okay it does pay it's it's painful to live long your body aches back ache neck ache but it does pay okay so it's worthwhile to live very long okay so You, yeah, technically, for tax purpose, you are retiree after your 67 age in America, okay? You get social security benefit, which is what, half of your previous income, salary level. But at the same time, you can work. You can still work part-time, and your social security benefit, you still get 100% of that. Yeah, which is 50% of your previous salary. Still, you can have a job and your social security will not decrease. Very good system, okay? Because when you are old, uh, you cannot work full time. You work only part time. So yeah, you work part time and you have this 50% of your previous salary. Yeah, so you can still maintain your whatever lifestyle okay so NGR okay Negro or Nigger whatever okay and then this this German word 
Yeah, 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 Germans, yeah, yeah, the Nazism, Hitler, yeah, all racist, okay. But it's not just German, it's also English and French. In German world, you have Nacht, 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 Night, okay. Yeah, Night, okay. They are related. Okay. So it's a black night. Okay. And also nicht in German. Nicht. G -h -g -h. Okay. Like H. Pharyngeal sound, pharyngeal consonant. It's they're kind of trade off, they're kind of interchangeable with uh, consonant. Ni nicht, okay? It means not. Nicht, not, or English word. No. or negative okay negative negative okay so n two g three t two is three three two two three two pattern M -m -m -m. Lips is one. L -l 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 -l. Alveolar two. G -g -g -g. Pharyngeal three. Okay. Yes, yeah, two, three, two pattern. Okay. Negative. Negative. Negation. Okay. And Negro, nigger, or Nacht, night, nicht, not, not, okay? This is all from common element, okay? It's, it's about, yeah, being black, dark, absence of light, okay? Absence of energy, okay? So, but at the same time, if you are a black person, Please don't get insulted or offended. We're talking about science. We are talking about religion or politics. We're talking about linguistics, science. Yeah, but etymology, okay? World origin. Yeah, three consonant. N, G, T. Two, three, two pattern, okay? I'm not saying blacks are evil or negative. I'm not saying Negroes are negative race. I'm not saying that. Okay. With blacks, yeah, it's just evolution, okay? Biologically, scientifically. Yeah, you have too much sunlight, so you have to block it. You have to mix too much sun, you have to mix with too much darkness. So that it equals out, so that it becomes zero. White people, you have too much darkness, darkness, where they live in upper Norway, Norway, Sweden, Finland. They have too much darkness, long winter, dark winter. So yeah, they ha their skin color should be white so that they can absorb that little sunlight that they have. It's a balance, okay? Too little sunlight, too much darkness is like negative five, so they have to balance it out to make it zero, neutralize, to neutralize. Yeah, negative five of darkness, they have to do plus five of, of whiteness. 
too much darkness, they have to be too much white to be gray, middle, happy middle, zero, okay? In the equatorial region, Africa or some Polynesia, India, yeah, too much sunlight, too much wildness. So they have to equalize, neutralize this too much energy. So they darken their skin. Too dark, too black. Okay? Because there's too much wildness in the sky, too much light. Equalization, neutralization. Okay. We'll take a break and okay, we'll take a break. Okay, so Okay? But I do have to take a picture of this, okay, because it's important that we talk about this, okay? Overcoming hyper anti racism in this cli political climate is very important we, that we do this. Because we human analysts, we don't give a fuck. We are strong people. We can fight, okay, so that's why we can do this, okay, so nobody else on earth can do this except for us, humanologists, okay, because, because we can fight, okay, so take a break, okay, but don't kill me, don't try to fight me because I don't want to fight, okay, I'd rather drink with you, yeah, I, I but don't come knocking on my door, though, okay, because I'd rather be alone. That's why I came to Alaska, okay, because, come on, give me a break, okay? I'm doing a lot of the humanitarian service already by doing all this shit, okay, so give me a break, okay? Take one.
Get it back. How much? <clears throat> how much time do we have? I wonder. Fifteen minutes. That's enough. Because we we are about to enumerate this nine variation of three consonants. Three times three is nine. Okay. So we'll do that. We enumerate that shit. Okay. So. Vowel is like zero, okay? So it doesn't count. They're interchangeable. It's like zero. Vowels are zeros, okay? So. One, two, three. One, three, two. Two, one, three. Two, three, one. Three, one, two. Three, two, one. It's a lexicographical order. Actually, it's like three times, three times three, it has to be 27, okay? Because it can be one, 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 two, two, okay? It's permutation allowing repetition, okay? So three pi three, it's three to the third, okay? So three pi three is three to the third, Okay. My goodness, I cannot do all that shit. Just know that we have 27 variation of this. Three consonant system of three consonant groups. Okay. We have labial, ma 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 ma, alveolar, d d d d d, pharyngeal, g g g g g. Okay. And in this Middle Eastern tradition you have three consonants so three to the third <sighs> well we have 15 minutes left so maybe we get through this okay we want to make one word example for each of these 27 groups One, 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 okay. One, 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 number one. How about Mama Mia, okay. Ma, <coughs> Ma, Mia. Mama Mia, Abba, Abba song, okay. Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, one, 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 okay. One, one, two. Mumud Mumud How about Mahmud? Okay, it's kind of a traitor. Okay, it's, it's like semi consonant, semi vowel. Okay, so okay, Mahmud. M -m -d. One one two. Okay, so we are breaking new ground in linguistics. Okay, so uh, yeah, combinatorial linguistics, permutation linguistics, mathematical linguistics. Okay. Number three, one, one, three. It's a uh, base three and three digit ba on base three, radix three number system. Okay, so you have 10, 27 of them. Okay, so. Mumugu.
I'm, I'm trying to come up with a phrase or a word. Mabug. 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 Mamuk, mamagara, mamuk, mamuk, mamak, memak, mebak, pamek. Dr is kind of trader too. It's kind of half consonant, half vowel. Dr. It's kind of fricative, you know, consonant. Bumug, Bumug, Babak, Mamak, Mama, Mubak, Well, how about this? Babar, Babak. Baba, okay. R is kind of like a, you know, cheating kind of trade, okay. I don't know how to pronounce, how to, what's the word for Baba, okay, in French. Baba, okay, we just settle with that, okay. Now, one to one. Murder, okay, murder. Mother. R is kind of traitor, okay? So it's kind of, it can be quasi bubble, okay? M, D. No, it is. No, it's not that. R is as number two. Okay, it's a good, good letter. Well, next time. Yeah, it's mama. Mama, Mama, Ma'am, or Mama. <laughs> Mama, okay. Let's say some in some language they pronounced mother as Mama, okay. Mama. Nice. Oh yeah, madame. How about that, madame? Madame. French. My lady. Ma dame. M de ma. Okay. Number five. One to two. Yeah, it's mother. Ma. Yeah, this kind of semi vowel, okay, mother. So, mother. One to two, okay? Number six. One to three. Murduk. Murduk. Yeah. Mur. Or Bardak. Murduk. It's a name, right? Murduk. Bardock, which is a plant, okay, b r, b d r d, yeah, but they're both two, okay, b d k, one two three, b d k, one two three, number seven, one, three, one, okay. B, k, b, mak, b, k, b, mat, bat, bak, bakin, like resisting, okay, bak, bak. Buck, 
No, it's not that. Because du is uh, number two. Bop. Bugubu. Mugubu. Mugubu. Bugubu. Mugubu. Makeba, okay, yeah. I'm sorry it's getting so dark. Makeba. Ma. Ke. Ber. Makeba, okay, it's like dead. Makaba. M. K. B. Okay, R is quasi. R. Quasi. Baba, okay, so. You can go on and on, and you can complete 27. I'm just giving you examples, okay? Why don't you complete this table? Because I need some vocal rest, okay? I gotta eat, watch some television or DVD. I gotta go back to work. Because today's Thursday, it's not Friday. I need some vocal rest, okay? So I'm still recovering, so. I want to fill out 27 tables I just gave you to seven examples okay so the rest you fill it out I'm some break okay all right thank you good night bye happy Thursday <laughs>